Hello, my little Willy. In today's tutorial, I'm sharing how to knit another version of the herringbone pattern. It's a lace stitch pattern, just two rows, really easy to do. And one of the things that I love the most is that although it's not identical on both sides, the other side of the work called wrong side looks pretty too. So you can use it for a scarf or an infinite cowl or a blanket or even as a central panel for a sweater or cardigan. It doesn't matter if you're just starting to knit it has just two or three steps that will be repeated all the time, easy to memorize and easy to do. It's beautiful. You can use yarn cotton as I did, or you can use, for example, wool yarn or blends to make an autumn winter garment. So grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get started. Oh, and before we start, I'm going to teach you how to do it in both. English and continental style. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of 7 plus 1. For example, 7 times 2, 14, plus 1, 15. I'm going to cast on 15 stitches. And don't make it too tight. So English style, when you throw the yarn with your right hand first and every odd row, right side of the work. We start with net one. And now comes the repeat. The repeat is what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find my patterns on my website sowoolly.net and there is a link for you below this video on the description box just below the title of the video so the repeat is purl one net one and now we have to do a yarn over but although it looks like a double yarn over it's not this is the way to do it before purling. Why? Because now we're going to purl two stitches together. So you see, there is one stitch, the yarn over. And now knit one, purl one, knit one. That's it, that's the repeat. Let's do it again. Purl one, Net one, yarn over, purl two together, net, purl, net. But this last one, I like to work it through the back loop. Only on this first row. This way we can avoid a huge loop there. Second and every even row we start with purl one and now comes the repeat. Net two. One, two. Yarn over again. Same way as before. Purl two together. Net two. One, two, for one, and repeat, net two, one, two, yarn over, purl two together, net two, one, two, for one. So that's it. There you have the two rows. Now, if you need continental style, when you hold the yarn 
in your left hand. You don't throw the yarn as I did before. So we start with net one, and now comes the repeat. Purl one, net one, yarn over. You have to keep the yarn in front of the work, and now purl two together. Net, purl, net. That's it. Let's do it again. Purl one, net one, yarn over, keep the yarn in front of the work, purl two together, net, purl, net. If you have more stitches, keep repeating to the end of the row. Second and every even row, we start with purl one, and now comes the repeat. Net two, one, two, yarn over, same way as before, because we're going to purl two together. Net two, one, two, purl one, and repeat. Net two, yarn over, purl two together. Net two, and purl one. And that's it. If you have more stitches, keep repeating to the end of the row. So these two rows create the pattern. It doesn't matter the way you knit. And you have to do at least six, eight rows to see everything. When finished, bind off facing the wrong side of the work. That's after row one. Working each stitch as it presents. When you see the bumps or the yarn overs, you have to purl and bind off. When you see the Vs or the knit stitches, you have to knit and bind off. If you don't know how to do that, I have a tutorial for you. You will find the link also on the description box. So that's everything for today, my little Willy. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting.